Cuba is a vital element of the island's healthcare system in terms of its support for educating health professionals and its provision of specialized treatment in many sectors of healthcare, not only for physicians, but also for nurses and pharmacists. Ten more students have benefited from this bilateral relations between the two countries, having received scholarships from Cuba to pursue studies in varying areas of medicine. They gathered recently to receive their packages and to meet briefly with Cuban Ambassador to St. Lucia, His Excellency Bernardo Toscano Sardinas, and the Minister with Responsibility for Education, Honorable Sean Edward. For his part, Cuban Ambassador Sardinas wished scholarship recipients well and promised them a training that will not only make them and their families proud, but will be beneficial to the development of healthcare on the island. We hope that we go there, you will study very hard, and you return to your country with all the knowledge necessary to support the San Lucian people in a specific area like the health care. Minister with Responsibility for Education, Honorable Sean Edward, thanked the Cuban government through Ambassador Sardinas for its continued support in education and health care and called on students to understand what sacrifices have been made in order to afford them training in the Spanish-speaking Caribbean country. We can comfortably find another 200 students in San Lucia this very moment who are qualified to embark on the same journey that you are embarking on this morning. But the spaces and the opportunities are limited. And that is why I want to let you know or remind you that you are extremely fortunate to have been chosen. Do not take it for granted. The government of Cuba, through all the difficulties they've been subjected to, to due to no fault of theirs, they have always stood firm with St. Lucia. Of the 10 recipients, seven will pursue Doctor of Medicine degrees, while two will return to Cuba to pursue postgrad studies in specialized areas of medicine. Post-grad recipient Dr. Janoma Gifford shared her experiences studying in Cuba with new students like Jeremiah Conay, who is optimistic about the opportunity provided in his seven-year undertaking. Cuba is the optimum place to become the best version of yourself. It really is. There are challenges, but uh, if we go there with a positive mindset and we take the bull by its horns and do what we're supposed to do, we will come back, well, you all will come back, including myself and Dr. Chico, as renowned doctors to serve the people of San Lucia. I'm very grateful for the opportunity I've been granted to study in Cuba, um, both to the government of San Lucia and to the government of Cuba. And I promise to um, make a good use of the opportunity I've been granted. Cuban scholarships are provided yearly and can be pursued through the Human Resource Development Unit of the Ministry of Education. More information on this and other scholarship opportunities can be obtained on the government website at govt.lc slash scholarship. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Education, Sustainable Development, Innovation, Science, Technology and Vocational Training, I am Chris Satney, reporting.